Now, over the course of the next few hours, some of the world's brightest stars and most beautiful people are going to be walking up this red carpet. Belle Donati has all the latest from the opening night and she's joining us live. Belle here, our culture expert. The Oscars have revealed their nominations and it turned out to be a huge success for the company that brings the silver screen to your laptop. The last week has seen fresh allegations, this time against Kevin Spacey. All eyes are fixed to see how the festival responds to the Me Too movement that he provoked. Add to that a fallout that's led Netflix to boycott the festival and there are concerns that Cannes might be losing its touch. Wonder.land isn't entirely critical of digital technology. In fact, it says it can do some pretty amazing things. And it's important to remember that in a world where teenagers Ali's age use their mobile phones for just about everything. Jesse J, hey, hi. I'm here. I'm very well. How are you? You look amazing. Good. Thank you so much. Performing for me is not really work. It's I love it, so. Well, you probably have that in common with a lot of the film stars who are yeah. also here tonight. Yeah. Uh, are you a film fan? Oh, yeah. This is the difficulty with art and the market of art, because there mm -hmm. there's different ways of approaching art. You're either trying to push boundaries artistically, do something that's really exciting, in which mm. case, to be honest, it's probably not the type of thing you want to have above your bed at yeah. night, because it's probably going to be difficult to live with. Abstract expressionism has often been associated with men, male painters expressing their physical prowess on the canvas. It was here on the windy western tip of the UK in Cornwall that Virginia Woolf conjured her novel to the lighthouse. Her muse, that lighthouse, has become a focal point on the horizon from St Ives. Syrian refugees now make up more than 50% of this town's population. The influx of new residents, many of them in informal tented settlements, mean that relations between the Syrian and the Lebanese communities can, at times, become strained. This is the festival marketplace, and here at the International Pavilion, it's all about having a presence, something the Saudis and the Palestinians now have for the first time. This was the sarcophagus found in Alexandria, and we asked you what you thought might be inside, and we had a few, quite a few results here. The carpet may be red, but this festival is not about walking it. It's about film. Not the cinema of tomorrow, but the cinema of yesterday and its reinterpretation. In that way, it's a little bit more like an art exhibition than a commercial film festival. The screening programmes during the week here is heavily curated. When you start looking through the festival lineup, you realise there's an awful lot of men's names on the pages here. In fact, in the official competition, only three of the films out of the 21 there are directed by women. It was always going to be a political palm d'or this year, with a female-led jury and the issue of gender parity filling the air here. But in the end, Kate Blanchett's team seems to have made a point of avoiding playing politics. There's no doubt that technology has influenced art, but what some of the works in this exhibition question is who's in control of that relationship? Is it the artist or is it the machine? We're going to leave you uh, with a no comment from another big award ceremony overnight, the Grammys uh, in Los Angeles, which is just uh, finishing up, and uh, some of the more attention-grabbing outfits from the red carpet there.